All right, it's JMO again. Um, so my last video was about my Super Foamer Aircrete Foam Generator th uh, thing that I made. Um, credit where credit is due. A lot of this stuff, you'll see similarities to it. If you don't have the means or the capability or the patience or the time to build one of these and resource all your parts, you can buy them. There's a few different people out there selling their versions of them. Um, three people that have inspired this one is the Honeydew Carpenter, Aircrete Harry, and of course Little Pig Store LLC. Little Pig Store LLC, you see a lot of um, the inspiration for this on his, uh, I believe he has an, uh, an Etsy page where he sells stuff for this kind of thing. But anyway, here's the long and short of it. Uh, the long of it is these uh, tubes right here and the short of it is probably these little handles here. Um, what we have is, uh, I've got about two bar, which is roughly 30 PSI, 29 PSI air pressure coming in here from a compressor that's in my garage. That, if I open this valve, will charge this tank up with 20 PSI of air. Inside this tank, there's a soapy solution, which is, like I told you before, um, I'm going to try this car wash, it's supposed to be super foamy. A couple ounces of that into a little over a gallon of water, a gallon and a half, fills that tank up. This is normally closed, but when I do open it, right, then the pressure in here pushes that fluid out there into this quick disconnect which travels all the way around, the solution goes through, and the solution comes into the gun here. And that's also on a quick disconnect. Um, and then it starts to soak and fill up this tube. Inside this tube is about six stainless steel pot scrubbers, um, the scrubbing pads, you know, little balls that you find at the Dollar Tree. There's about six of those in there. Um, I found a three pack, they're at Home Depot, it's like two something for a three pack there. You can get them at the dollar store, two for a dollar, whatever. They last forever. Um, and I did make mine to come apart, front and back, so that if I ever need to or want to, I can change those pads to something else, try it, whatever. Okay, so now that this thing is so solution soaked, we add air. And by adding air, we get the air from the same compressor, but it goes right past into the second tube. Second line goes all the way up to here and we go and we let the air come in and the air will blow the soapy solution through the mesh and create that thick creamy foam you saw come out here. Okay, you gotta be careful not to use too much pressure. You can blow your stainless steel wool right out. As you can hear, the kids behind me, the neighbor's house, are having some obnoxious children's party. Glad I wasn't invited. Anyway, <laughs> so we're going to get some uh, Portland cement, but we'll do up a batch and show you that as well. I just wanted to do this quick video for you guys. Oh, and I also wanted to show you my latest failure. We saw the rubble last time. That's still curing. Actually, it still looks like it's wet because of the rain. The pan is holding water. But these are... I mean, they're pretty light, you know? I don't know how much abuse they would take, but you can see this one's still kinda, it's cool to the touch, they're curing. But you can see on this example here, what the foam does inside the mix, okay? And what I do is I take a mixture of Portland cement and water and make about a gallon right around a gallon of slurry and that slurry is going to be the same consistency you would see for like uh, chocolate pudding not thick like peanut butter um, I haven't had any luck I haven't had any luck that way but right about like chocolate pudding that'll get you this type of hardness and consistency this one I you can see all the the tiny cracks everywhere I don't know if you can see that I moved the container while this was only hours old and the top had skinned 
and when I moved it all those little cracks formed but they're not they're not like they can't do anything I can't well that's the edge if you see the lip from the container that'll break off but um, it's kind of like pumice in a way and then this is my failure uh, these were way too much foam I used half the amount of Portland cement to a gallon of water um, and just kept adding in foam until I got five gallons uh, and yeah the solution when I dumped the mixture into those containers right there the solution actually floated to the top and some of the water separated out so I mean this one was draining this one was still draining like 10 minutes ago you can see how wet it is down there that's what she said um, but a little bit more Portland maybe I'll go three quarters I'm trying to get a insulation type mix and you can see here too how the air bubbles it looks like lava rocks from your garden uh, barbecue or something but I'm trying to get it to hold together by itself and still be super light this is whoops <laughs> this is obviously not structurally sound by any means so there you have it folks I forgot to mention the whole part of what this was for and I do apologize so the Portland cement and water slurry for about a gallon the rest foam mix it with the paint mixer pour it into the molds I'm trying to use I'm gonna try cardboard molds see what size cardboard would work if it works it's typically free you can find it anywhere and if it can be used more than once even better anyway so go check out the other guys there um, especially uh, little little pig store L I T T L E capital P I G capital S T O R E actually I don't think there's a capital P for pig but either way little pig store LLC is his channel he's been doing a lot of these experiments and I'm kinda picking up my own pace on it but uh, a lot of inspiration from him and like I said Air Creed Harry and the honeydew carpenter don't bother messaging him he won't answer you but um, a lot of inspiration for this setup by those three fellas. All right, thanks for watching.